In this problem, we need to express the following as products. Let us begin. So in the first problem, we have the sum of two sine function. So here, we can use this particular formula and convert it into product of sine and cosine. So let's begin. The number one, we have sine 12 theta added to sine 4 theta. So this should be equals to 2 times sine of, we need 12 theta, and add it to 4 theta and divide the result by 2 times cosine of 12 theta minus 4 theta divided by 2. So this will be equals to 2 times sine where we get 12 theta plus 14 theta. So that's 16 theta. We have 16 theta over 2 multiplied to cosine of 8 theta over we should give us the result 2 times sine of 8 theta times cosine of 4 theta. So this is the value for the sum of sine 12 theta plus sine 4 theta expressed as a product. Now let's go to problem number 2. Now we have difference of two sine function. So we'll be using this particular formula, transformation formula. So this should give us 2 times Cosine will come first. We have cosine of 5 theta plus theta. So that's going to be uh, 6 theta divided by 2. Multiply to sine difference of the angle. So we have 5 theta minus theta. So that's going to be 4 theta divided by 2. And finally, that gives us the result. 2 times cosine of 3 theta times sine 2 theta. Right. Moving on to the third problem. We have cosine of 12 theta plus cosine of 8 theta. That means we have the sum of two cosine function. So that can be expressed as a product of two cosine functions. So this will be equivalent to 2 times cosine of 12 theta plus 8 theta. So that's going to be 20 theta. So we have 20 theta divided by 2 multiplied to cosine of 12 theta minus 8 theta. So that's 4 theta divided by 2. So we get 2 times cosine of 10 theta times cosine of 2 theta. Going to the next problem, we have cosine of 12 theta minus cosine of 4 theta. So this is a difference of two cosine function. So this result must be the product of two cosine function. So we should get minus 2 times sine of, so we need to take the sum of the angles so of 12 theta plus 8 theta, that's 16 theta. So 16 theta divided by 2 is going to give us 8 theta. Multiplied to sine of the difference of the angles, so that's 12 theta minus 4 theta, which will be 8 theta. 8 theta divided by 2 is going to be 4 theta. So the result is negative 2 times sine 8 theta times sine 4 theta. Now let's go to the last one. Problem number 5, we have sine 2 theta added to cosine 4 theta. But if we look at a transformation formula, we either have the sum or difference between two similar trig functions. That means we have sine alpha added to sine beta. And or if we take the difference, it both must be sine, similar in the case of a cosine. But in a case here, so we have one sine and another cosine. So our task will be to convert one of them to the other. So let's say uh, we'll convert cosine 4 theta to sine 2 theta. So here we have sine of 2 theta. Now, the best way to convert cosine 4 theta to sine theta would be to use the fact that sine 90 degree minus theta that corresponds to cosine theta. So here we have sine 90 degree minus 4 theta. So this will be equivalent to cosine of 4 theta. Now here, 2 theta is going to represent alpha and 90 degree minus 4 theta is going to represent beta. So we can use the first one, the first transformation formula. That means the sum of two sine functions. So this is going to give us 2 times sine of, so let's write it down. We have alpha, which is denoted by 2 theta, plus 90 degree minus 4 theta, divided by multiplied to cosine of the difference of the angle so we're going to get 2 theta minus 90 degree plus 4 theta divided by 2. Let's further simplify we're going to get 2 times sine of angle 90 degree and 2 theta minus 4 theta that's going to be negative 2 theta divided by 2 multiplied to cosine of so here we have 2 theta plus 4 theta, so that's 6 theta. So we have 6 theta minus 90 degree divided by 2, which will be equals to 2 times sine of so 90 degree over 2, that's 45 degree. So we have 45 degree minus theta. 
multiplied to cosine of we have 6 theta over 2 so that's going to be 3 theta minus 90 degree over 2 that's going to be 45 degrees so this is going to be the final answer but uh, let's try to write it in a more better way the 45 degree we can convert it to radian so we get 2 times sine of angle pi over 4 minus theta multiplied to cosine of if we take negative as the common factor we have negative of pi over 4 minus 3 theta now we know that our cosine is an even function meaning cosine of negative theta that is the same as positive cosine theta which means we can now get finally 2 times sine of angle pi over 4 minus theta multiplied to cosine of pi over 4 minus 3 theta so this is going to be the value of sine 2 theta plus cosine 4 theta even though we started out with two different trig function that there are some also gave us a product of two trigonometric function